Hey everyone, Jason here, aspiring entrepreneur and digital marketing consultant. And in this landing page tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to build a landing page from scratch super fast using Thrive Themes. So you can check out an affiliate link to Thrive Themes Architect. It's only 67 bucks, works with every single WordPress site. And as you're about to see, it's very, very easy to use and set up. So I'm inside my WordPress dashboard here. I've installed the Thrive Architect plugin and I just went up here to new and then clicked on page. So I created a new page. I gave it a name. I've saved it as a draft. And so now once you have Thrive Architect installed, all you have to do is click launch Thrive Architect and we will start building our landing page. So what's really important as you're building your landing page is to actually have your sales copy written before you dive into your landing page builder interface. So whether you're using Thrive Themes or you're using something else, what's most important is you have your copy written ahead of time. So to choose one of their many templates, you're going to come down here here to click on page settings because we don't want the page to look like this and we're going to choose a landing page template. Now as you can see here there's a huge library of stuff and so one of the traps that's really easy to fall into is to just start clicking on every single one of these and then you know trying to find the perfect landing page template. What I like to do to save time and focus on what's actually important is to come up here to filter the templates by certain tags and I'm going to click lead generation because we're making a landing page. Now I'm only looking at the pages that are designed for the result that I want, which is to generate leads. So I can scroll through all of these and look for a design I think fits my copy the best and fits my image the best if you have any images that you're going to want to be placing onto your landing page. For the first iteration, we're gonna build several in this tutorial. I'm gonna choose this new template that they have. And all you have to do is click and then it's gonna load. And as you can see, the entire page is built for us all we have to do is drop in our own images and copy. Now, this page has a lot of extra elements that I don't actually think we need for a landing page. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by removing a bunch of the sections that I'm not actually going to use. So I'll just go ahead and delete all of, I'm making sure I'm deleting all of the different columns here. And we'll just delete, delete each section until we just have the top part. And we'll just make a real simple landing page here. So the first thing, I'll change the name of the company in this particular instance. Soon done is the name of the blog. And since I don't have a logo for this page, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the top part so we just have this. So I'm gonna go over to my Evernote file here and pull out one of my headlines that I want to test and I'll just go ahead and drop it in there and then take the text down a little bit so it's not so big. There we go, that's good. Let's go ahead and add my pre-headline now. And my pre-headline is strictly for hardworking bloggers. Now this one actually had a sub-headline so I'm just going to paste it in there, italicize it and then move it on up to the very top. So there we go, italicize. And now I'm going to take it and put it above the headline. So strictly for hardworking bloggers. Of course, they have this nice image for us, so we'll just leave it. And then the button CTA, I always like changing the call to action of the button to be really related to the offer. So in this particular instance, we're talking to bloggers and helping them reduce stress. So we'll say reduce stress now. And if we wanted to get fancy, we could go ahead and click add an icon and, or we could change the style of the button. I'm gonna leave the style the way it is because I think it looks pretty nice the way it's already formatted for the templates that we're using, but I am clicking on the icon and I'm gonna change the icon and you see we have a large uh, icon library here. I'm just gonna choose this paper plane to signify it's going to be all good, just gliding through your blogging work. I'll go ahead and click save, of course, because <laughs> I don't wanna have to redo all of this. And just like that, we're done with our landing page. That's it. That's that's really all we need to do. I think the other the only other thing we would do is we'd come up here to create new split test. And what we would do is we'd either create a duplicate of this version and then I'd go back to my Evernote file and I'd take maybe six ways to reduce stress without taking time off work. So I'd come up here and I'd edit the variation. So I just say version two and then I'll go ahead and edit the variation. And all I will do is change the headline text. And so now all we need to do on version two, you can see up here, it's telling me which one I'm working on. I'll go ahead and take the second headline that I have 
and I'll go ahead and just switch that out and drop it in just like that. So now I have my test and I'm gonna go up here to click on version two. Oh, save, <laughs> always save, always, always save. Now we'll go back up here to click on version two and we can see we have the original and we have the split test version. And so that's really all there is to setting up your landing page. So let's go ahead and just add another variation just so we can see what another template looks like. I definitely don't recommend doing more than two. It's best to just have two because two landing pages, it's really, really easy to see which one's the winner as opposed to doing three or four. You're going to spend a lot more money because you need more traffic in order to figure out which landing page is working. So I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to choose landing page template. So I'll come up here again, filter by tags, select lead generation, and then I'll scroll down the list. And for this one, I'm going to choose a completely different template, but I also want to choose something that's going to be very easy to modify. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this template. And what's going to be different this time is we're actually going to have some bullet points. And so now that the page is loaded, it's time to customize the copy. So we'll come in here and I'll choose a different headline this time, how to beat using one simple technique. And so I'll drop it in here and I'm going to come up here and get the green color code for this green because I want to highlight one particular part of my text. I want to use one simple. I want it to be that color. So I'll come back up here and paste that in, click apply. And now I can delete the rest of this text, make it real easy to keep the formatting the same on the page. So how to beat stress using one simple technique. Okay, cool. So up here we have a pre-headline again. We wanna change that to strictly for hardworking bloggers. So we'll go ahead and do that and delete the text that's there. I just like italicizing it strictly for hardworking bloggers. There we go. All right, now we have our bullet points. And of course we did our writing ahead of time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up and copy all of these in. Okay, got the bullet points. Probably would play with the formatting of this a little bit so that if we go to the entire column, oops, not that column, this column. So we go to this column and maybe increase the size a little bit, increase or decrease the size a little bit so that there's three lines for each. So we do that. We probably wanna play a little bit more, bring this one in, but for the purposes of our tutorial, let's not waste that time. And then we'll go ahead and reduce stress now and add our company name down here, done soon. Okay, and now of course, if there's a privacy policy or disclaimer, make sure you link to that on your website because most traffic sources now require you to have that link. So we probably want to change up the background image and change up this guy. So there's two sites that's going that are going to help us do that. The first one is Pexels, and it's a great site to find realistic looking photos that are free to use. So you can see there are a lot of great ideas. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's just choose, let's just choose this one. So we're gonna go ahead and get the largest size we can, and we'll go ahead and click free download. It will download there. So we'll come back to our Thrive Architect, and now it's time to change. We're going to want to change the background. So I'll come up here, and I've made sure to select the entire page. And of course, we have it set as an image, and we're going to change the image. So to do that, I need to upload this to my media library here. I'll go ahead and have that load. And as soon as it loads, we'll go ahead and insert into the post. And you can see it's showing up behind. And what's cool is we can move the positioning of the photo around. And so to kind of make sure that we get the best angle of the background. Now, obviously you want to make sure that it shows up nicely on mobile or tablet and sometimes you don't even want it to show up on mobile or tablet. So to do that, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and click apply. It's good enough. Well, to do that preview, we just go ahead and click on tablet so you'd see how it looks on tablet. And then we go ahead and click on mobile and here's how it looks on mobile. Now on mobile, we definitely want to change <laughs> the size of the text. So we'll bring the text size down quite a bit. And what's cool about this is when you adjust the text sizes for mobile or you adjust you know, the line height on mobile, it's not going to affect how it looks on the other two devices. So reduce stress now, we'll take that down a little bit, reduce stress now, 
and actually we don't need this content box. So we can go ahead and delete that if we wanted to. So now you can see it looks a lot better and we'll go back to desktop and it still looks the same. Now I actually don't really like this background image. So I'm going to go ahead and just take another one that I got from uh, pixels earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Thrive landing page again. I'm gonna go image. And of course we can change stretch, or, you know, repeat or default. Let's see if default will show us. Ah, won't show us. Okay, let's go choose this guy we used for something else and default. All right, that looks really bad. So let's try repeat and repeat, apply. Nope, not any better. So let's just go ahead and do stretch and apply stretch. All right, that looks really, actually, I like this a lot more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it on this one. So now what we have to do is we have our actual image here. So if you have an actual product image, you can drop a product image in there, or to get an illustration, we're gonna go over to Pixabay, and I'm just going to search for a notebook here, something to kind of represent the offer that's being made. And I'm gonna select illustrations, yes. Do, 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 do. So we want something that doesn't look too cartoony, but still is relatable to bloggers. So actually this might be a good, this might actually be a really good one. What we could do is we could download it and remove the background. And I'm just gonna be simple and choose this icon. So we're gonna go free download that. Let's do, uh, that should be large enough for what we want. Just prove you're not a robot and then you'll go ahead and download it. So we'll go back over here and now we're going to change this free report image to the one we just downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead, change image. We'll come up here to uploads, drag and drop, wait for it to upload and then we'll just insert it into the post and we will be good to go. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And just like that, we have a landing page that's done. We have actually built three landing pages in just a few minutes. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and, cause I know that we're gonna be testing this later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the image back to this one. This one's a little a little more fun. All right, we got, the, we got the owl, we got the cool little background. And that is all there is to it to setting up your landing pages. So I'm gonna click on variations as we end wrap up this tutorial here. So you see we have three variations. We're running traffic to each one of them and we're going to see which one works the best. Of course, we can add more variations or we could take a variation off. Actually, what I would do is I'd delete them, this one, and then I'd split test these two pages to get a good understanding of the different style of page that would work the best for bloggers and helping them reduce stress. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe over on my channel. I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build a online business from scratch. And of course, getting your landing pages set up and using awesome tools like Thrive Themes is just one small piece of the bigger picture of being successful with your digital business. So go ahead and comment below if you have any questions. Make sure you check out Thrive Themes and Thrive Architect. It's an absolute steal at just 67 bucks. You can get started with all of your landing page and sales page needs. And as always, keep building the business you love. Take care.